There you go. There you go. We have a laughing stock, you know. We have a laughing stock to people in this world, you know. Yeah. Listen to this guy talking about the carnival. Look at the picture that he put up. Look at the things that he says. Look at the, 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 the cynicism and the sarcasm. Okay, bro. Right? He would love to use the word black people, bro. He would, but he can't. He just simply cannot. But he's, he would look. Because look, everything. Oh, why? Where's a white woman? If you're a white person doing this, is it only black people that go to carnival? Yeah, real talk. Yeah? So why didn't you put up a picture of a white girl that looks like this? There are many. There are many, bro. Listen to this guy. See, see, see the thing in black culture, bro? It's funny. Because we are the ones that are oppressed, right? Or supposed to have been oppressed, right? But we attack each other. Okay? Right? Which make it look like fair game for everybody else. But on, to be real, I was talking to my neighbours yesterday. And they said white people do the same thing. So I know that, but I can't say it. Okay? I'm not qualified to say it. I can say it in this house because you know I'm not racist, bro. But the, the, the whole world is like a it's like a wet nappy. You know what I mean? Everyone's just sore. You know what I mean, bro? So you can't say certain things, bro. But the bottom line is, bro, if I was white and I was doing this blog, then I would put up white people on the screen. Yeah? More so than black people. But look what this guy does. Listen to his voice. So today I've already made one video on the enriching Notting Hill Carnival. And when I say Notting Hill... This is a fraggle. This is a fraggle. Okay, bruv, that's scared of life. Okay, bruv, his name is Ethan Wynn Stanley. Okay, he is scared of life. You can hear it in his voice, bro. You see, when he was at the carnival, bruv, he weren't doing all this shit. He weren't talking all this, all this sarcastic shit for people to hear him, bro. No, he came back with the footage, yeah, got to his computer, bruv, and became Superman. Yeah, okay, look how he's talking. Hill Carnival is enriching. I really mean Notting Hill Carnival is enriching. Well, it's really no surprise at all that the worst London mayor in history thinks that the most un... See, that's the thing about black people, right? They moan about the petrol. They moan about the ULES. They moan about the this. They moan about the that. But as soon as there's a camera moment, yeah, look at that, bro. Each and every one of them have cussed about the price of ULES. Yeah, okay? Each and every one of their family, their parents, yeah? But as soon as they see anyone famous, bro, yeah, it's pictures, pictures, pictures. And guess what, bro? Yeah? You see when they get home, bro, and someone says, have you paid your, have you paid your congestion charge or you're you, you less? Yeah? Fucking hell. Fucking this and fucking that. But hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. You're taking pictures with the man that's setting it. Look at them. Look at them. Monstrosity, look at the hair, bruv. Not one of them has got real hair. Not one. Healthy, yep, yeah. but they look terrible, bruv. Sorry. Safe carnival in Britain is a key part of the fabric of one of the worst and least safe cities in Europe. No surprises there. Fraggle, at fraggle, fraggle, fraggle. Look, I'm out of here, bro. We are joke, bro. Everyone can eat from us. Everyone can eat from us. We're a fucking joke. We're not worth nothing. Okay, bro. You know, to get me, someone died at the carnival again yesterday. It only confirms what this guy is saying, bro. So we're never going to win. Yeah, okay, bro. We're a fucking joke. And that's it. Really? That's it. The whole world laughs at us, bro. Yeah? You know, you want to get rich? Yeah? Laugh at black people, bro. You want to get rich? Mock black people, bro. Okay? They do it to themselves. Yeah? And they were all completely lost with drugs and alcohol. Look, look. We got scared that we could get hurt. Look, see? Hundreds of thousands of people pushing you. And they were all completely lost with drugs and alcohol. We got scared that we could get hurt. There was glass bottles broken all over the streets. People were pissing publicly on the middle of the street. And food was served by strange people who just... What? set up food huts in the middle of the road see talking about black people bro there is no food inspection told you look 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 this man's racist bro yeah okay every picture is black people or regulation here people were cooking food on the road black people again well i'm sure the food was at least seasoned well and also Did you hear that you hear that Did you hear that you see you see that that went over your head in it that went over your head right Food was at least seasoned well. Now, you see, this is what we are. I'm out of here, bro. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Do you know why? The fucking coward doing this. All right? And he'll never tell you that he was the one.
Yeah, okay, bruv, right? Yeah, look, look, you got the UK flag right there. Okay, bruv, you know, as his emoji. You know, it's not your space, it's a UK flag, bro. Yeah, the secret racists are still out here, bro. Yeah, hear what he said, bro. Listen to what he said. Cooking food on the road. Well, I'm sure the food was at least seasoned well. Look how he stopped and pronounced that. He's taking a piss out of black people, bro. Yeah, okay, subtle. And also, some locals were opening their homes for business too. They put up signs on their flats, toilets one pound, and come upstairs for some food. Clearly, there could be so many dangers going into someone's property without knowing who they are. This wasn't regulated by police well, and anyone could have got hurt by entering someone's property with so many drunk people. Around the whole Notting Hill area, only two underground stations were working. The others were closed. I wonder why. So when we started getting really anxious with the place and wanted to get out, we realized we couldn't get on any underground around us because they were all closed. So we had to walk to the nearest underground, which was two miles away. Please be aware, this isn't for anyone who doesn't want to drink all day and smoke hash. It's not a place to just- I mean smoke hash, it's like you know these people, yeah? They are not up with it, bro. Wander around and enjoy the day. This is a huge rave party, similar to those in Ibiza, but 100 times more dangerous. There is not enough police or security to the amount of people. The proportion is 1 to 1,000. Good luck, and you will see a lot of fights. There were ambulances parked on the sides of the road, prepared to take hurt people to hospital. It was like entering the gladiator's ring absolutely awful wow that is an absolutely incredible and very revealing review oh you know you know you know uh people say uh when they get deported <clears throat> give him a chance and all that and people say uh oh they don't do nothing for the hood and black people don't get nothing and Black people dissing. That and. Bro, I wonder how much it costs to clean up a murder scene. Yeah. I mean, sometimes the investigations are pointless, yeah, but they gotta do it to keep law and order. I wonder how much each time we break the law it costs them. Because if they never had to do all that, there may be a hell of a lot more. Because the only thing I can see different. To when I grew up, yeah, is the violence. The epidemic of violence, right? But when I was younger, yeah, there was actual youth clubs. Uh, Metropolitan, Metropolitan Police used to do five-a-side football tournaments. There was a lot more uh, Crystal Palace training and football. And everyone actually had a team or a club to go to, bro. Or, or, or a youth club. Or, or a Friday club. Or whatever, bro. Look, as soon as they show the violence, they show the black people. All them things used to take funding, right? You know, or community spirit, right? Now there's nothing. People are too scared to come into contact with us. People are too scared to come in contact with the youth, full stop. White, black, pink or brown. Because everyone wants to follow black people and be like black people. But their interpretation of us, yeah. Okay, Bob, is not exactly what we put out, to be real. Yeah, I mean, some of us do. But on the whole, yeah, young white, black, young white, Indian, Russian, Somalian, wherever they are, trying to imitate us, they think that we deal with extreme violence, we ignorant, yeah, we jump up and down and all of that, bro, yeah, okay, we sag our pants and we wear balaclavas and we do all of that, yeah, and then they go out there and, and, and that's what they do, thinking that they're down by law, thinking that they're part of us, bro, thinking that, yeah, 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 that's how black people do it, bro. Okay, start wagwaning and all that, bro. Yeah, wagwaning automatically gives away the fact that they're around black people, bro. Yeah, I don't think that average white boy, yeah, with his white friends, before he came into contact with black people, is walking around talking about wagwan. Yeah, there are some that actually stay within their culture, bro. Look, blood on the floor, look. Look, blood on the sand, mate. Blood on the floor, again. Again, bro, look, there you go, there you go, look, there you go, look, blood on the floor, right? 21 years old, gone, bruv, who would have thought this morning, do you think he would have said to himself, 
That's it. Today's my last day. Yeah, I'm going anyway. No, he fucking must be oblivious to it. Yeah? Okay, or, or a case of, well, I'm going there with 15, man. Anyone can get it. Yeah, it might not be me. Maybe it's that. Maybe he rolled that dice. I don't know. Just now, I put up a video saying, when WAP 100 comes over here, I'd like to scuff him. I'd like to see what he's really about. I would. I'd really like to be in his presence, yeah, and really see what he's about. Because that brother there, bro, has got a lot of people scared. I don't see how one man can do it. And one thing with me, yeah, bro, I've been, in my life, growing up, bro, yes, I've been ex ex scared as hell, yeah, because I'm a loner. And I go everywhere I go, I've got to deal with it on my ones. There is no company. I make that after the fact. Yeah, once my name or once I get through, yeah, and establish myself, I make friends easy and people roll with man and fuck with man hard. Yeah, but but before all that, I don't know nobody when I walk into these jails, bro. Yeah, to these fucking holding pens, bro. Yeah, okay, from the age of 14 upwards, I've had to deal with that. Okay, so I'm not fucking scared to go and stand up in a room with a fucking midget. Yeah, okay, bro. Right? That thinks he's fucking rowdy, rowdy, write a book about you, bro. No, no, no. I want to see what you're saying, bro. I want to see if you're really that bad, bro. Yeah? I can't believe it. Got the whole world shook, bro. The whole of the internet shook, bro. And and not worst thing about you, it's the low-level internet where the real bad man them is supposed to be, bro. Everyone's shook of him. But the reason why I took the video down is because of what I'm talking about right now. Senseless violence, bro. Yeah? I called my man Young Spray a pussy hole, yeah? Okay, bro, it was stupid. Alright? It's dumb. Yeah? Okay, bro, it's not it's not a shook thing, bro. I don't give a fuck. Yeah? I don't really take back talk, but in the strength of being a mentor and the strength of being someone that's trying to push a positive message, bro, that's not really positive, is it? Do you know what I'm saying, bro? So you can take it how you like. Yeah, okay, bro. But the bottom line is, I don't really think much of it. Don't get it twist twice, really, but I don't really think much of it at all. Okay, bruv, yeah, do you know what I mean? Anyone that wants to pay attention to me and my missus when that happened to them, bruv, yeah, and, 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 and don't deal with that first, yeah, I can't really rate that, bro. Yeah, but at the same time, yeah, the word that I used was a bit too strong, so I, so, so I took it back, so I apologise, yeah, out loud. I, I say sorry at the same place I said it, okay, bro, that's it. That's what a man does, right? And if you don't want to accept it, I don't give a fuck, okay, bro, that's it. That's about as far as I'm going. But the bottom line is, people, yet again... Yeah, 2023, another person dead on the day that we all know someone's going to get got. Yeah, okay, bruv. And it would have been, you know, it would have been a surprise to the nation, yeah, if it was a violence-free Notting Hill carnival. Yeah? But you see that one death makes it all negative. Yeah? That one death makes it all negative. All of it. Yeah, look, look, they're showing the violence now. So it's nothing but black folks they're showing. Watch. Because we are the bums, mate. We are the ones that do this shit. We are the ones that kill people for no fucking reason. Okay, bro, when I say no fucking reason, there is no fucking reason worth killing someone for. Are you actually telling me, people, right, that you want the brother to die? Yeah, you actually want him to die. You want to make his mum grieve. You don't want the man to, you don't want the boy to turn into a man. You wish that might, if you sat down and thought about it, yeah, before you had a grievance with this brother, yeah, would you have said all that? I don't want to see him have no kids. I don't want you to have a life. I want him to die right now. Don't grow into a man. I want his mum to to, 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 to to grieve and all of that. Yeah, we all say wicked things when we're mad, bro, but do you actually really want to do that, bro? Okay, well, someone did it. Someone did it. And I can guarantee you, bro, right? That they're not even personally vested, if you get what I mean. Like, it's not a back and forth beef that's been going on for the longest time and all of that, bro. I reckon a man that's got gas, like, like when they came out in the riot and the brother stepped out of his house and banged over the, the, the drunk man because he thought he could do it and get away with it. Yeah, okay, bruv. And, and the man dead. Indeed, he dead. And the people want to know how the man dead. Yeah, and you know the CCTV don't lie, right? You know, if that man didn't dead, he would have got away with it. Who gives a fuck about a drunk man getting his face punched off? No one don't care. Police don't care until it turned into murder, bruv. Now nah, look, bruv, you came out of your house and the black brother's in jail probably right now. Unless you got a manslaughter. Probably got a manslaughter, bro, because there's no way he intends to kill him. But he did. You see? Just like the geezer today. Gone out there, trying to write a book about it, bro. Both murder charge, manhunt. Manhunt, rude boy. You see, tonight, bruv. 
See, tonight, read boy, when everyone else is sleeping, the man, they're shook to death, yeah? Hoping to talk at talk all night on a mobile phone, yeah? Scared of the silence, scared of their own silence, bro. Scared of any noise, any creaking, always at the window, looking, yeah, unless you are callous, cold cunt. Yeah, and, and not only that, yeah, bruv, you know, you, you see, you, you, you think, you think you can hide in it. You think you can hide, but you're only as strong as those that are around you. Those you know, that's how strong you are. Look, all black people, those you know, yeah, that's how strong you are. Yeah, those who know what you did, that's how strong you are, my friend. Okay, right? So, you know, before the years out, you're gone, mate. Before the years out, you'll be gone, mate. They can't help it, bruv. They love content, innit? YouTube, innit? Social media, bruv. Yeah, okay, one of your friends will give you up or your rap tune, you start itch. And you know the worst thing about it, yeah? If you don't get caught, you're going to give yourself up. Start rap about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you get me blood. Have you come around here because you get me blood? Yeah, whatever, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? You're done, mate. You're done? Bro, you're done, fam. Worst ways than what? The police horse dead too, bro. What? You're done, fam. Yeah, I'm going to tell you straight up. Look at that. Remember that one? When they're on there and brought the girl's neck. Remember, the girl walk underneath it and it just broke her neck, fam. Remember, animals. Just, just, look, look, look. Look. Yeah, good, good. This should have hurt a lot of you, bruv. Look, there we go. Violent scene. Black people it was. You see it to the left. Look, I'm out of here, bruv. I'm telling you straight up and down. This is the reason why there's nothing in the hood, bruv. Because the amount of money they got to spend on crime. I mean, they let us in the country, right? You know, the Windrush generation, we populated, share black kids born here. Okay, bruv, and all we're doing, yeah, is tearing up the roads, blood. Mashing up the place, disrespecting the law. Yeah, don't get it confused, bro. Yeah, I did it myself. Okay? But in this day and age of social media, bruv, where you can connect to everybody and spread a pos positive message. Yeah, okay, but we should have been done over this long time ago. We should have saw the errors of, of the switch, the change of being humble black people, trying to do better in a country that offers a bit more than where we came from. Yeah, we should have stuck to that path rather than get used to that, thinking like, nah, bro, we're entitled to much, 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 much more, bro. Okay, bruv, and, and, and just take it and, and use racism and, and slavery as an excuse to behave bad. Poverty. Rapping about poverty, bruv. Disrespecting your parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was shit when I grew up. Rubbish. Get me hard. Molestation. And you get me. And you understand? And no food on the table. And mummy didn't. And lies. All fucking lie. All of it. Yeah? Putting that kind of shame on your people, bruv. To sound like you come from somewhere hard. But who cares, bruv? Wherever you come from, there's other people there, innit? So, today I've already made one video on the enriching Notting Hill Carnival. And when I say Notting Hill Carnival is enriching, I really mean Notting Hill Carnival is enriching. Well, it's really no surprise at all that the worst London mayor in history thinks that the most unsafe carnival in Britain is a key part of the fabric of one of the worst and least safe cities in Europe. See, you see, this, you lot did this. They laugh after us, bro. Yeah? Okay? Look at the picture that you put in the beginning. Now, I did this, yeah? I just typed in not in your carnival, right? And as per usual, yeah, I'm going to risk my channel getting blocked. Yeah? Because... Now I'm realising that people like this will block me, bro. Look at this picture, bro. Look at that. Listen to how he starts to... Listen, listen. So, today I've already made one video on the enriching Notting Hill Carnival. And when I say Notting Hill Carnival is enriching, I really mean Notting Hill Carnival is enriching. First of all, if you can even call it that, Sadiq isn't exactly wrong that is part of the fabric of London. Because in my opinion, this festival, if you can even call it that, is pretty representative of the state of modern London. Why don't we take a look at a rather hilarious review from a tourist who came across Notting Hill Carnival for the first time. They were rather shocked, to say the least. 
shocked at Notting Hill Carnival. Dangerous place. When I looked at the advertisement for Notting Hill Carnival, it was stated that it is the best carnival in Europe. Please be aware that this place is not for families or children. It was full of people smoking drugs, drinking at the very beginning, drunk at 10.30, and people acting in an unacceptable way. I went there with one friend, and we were pushed and pulled around. We entered a few bottleneck roads where there were hundreds of thousands of people pushing you, and they were all completely lost with drugs and alcohol. Fraggle, I bet when you was there, you were fucking shook. Now you got to your microphone. Yeah, you're talking, right? But you see, this is what we are with a joke, bruv. Do you know how many different people eat off of us by criticising us, calling us names and all that, bro? But look, this wasn't about this fucking carnival, right? This is what it was about, yeah? What happened in the carnival, bruv? I woke up this morning thinking, right, what am I going to do? What's my biggest problem today? Problem number one, make that money. Problem number two, go to the gym and stop fucking about. And problem number three, uh, go shopping. Yeah, that's my problems for today. And they're always going to be the same problem until I sort out what I need to sort out. But even in four years, five years, I've still got time to sort it out. Six years, seven years, I've still got time. You now, who murdered people yesterday, bro, time is up, mate. Mm. Time is up, bro. The police, if they ain't caught you already, bro, they're going to catch you, brother. What are you going to do, bro? See, your problems are massive, bro. Trying to be the big man, bro. Singular too, bro. Yeah, you might get um joint. Anyone around you is going to jail with you, bro. Joint enterprise. If they can find out who is with you, bro, it's joint enterprise. But, you know, only takes one person to stab someone to death, mate. Okay, bro, and you're it. Whoever pushed that knife in that, brother, you're it. Right? You're it, mate. On your own, lone crusade. Lone crusade. The big man. Huh? The lone crusade, the big man. Yeah? That's what you want it to be, right? You want it to be known as a big man. Well, you, you'll be known as him, bro. They'll talk about you. As long as they're immature. As long as they're immature, ain't got no kids, and ain't got no life and no job. Three quarters of your friends now, yeah, will stop committing crime today. Okay, bro? And change their life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three quarters of them who were caught up in that murder shit are going to try and change their life today. Yeah, their mindset. They're going to sit in their house and they're going to act like victims with their mothers asking them, what's wrong, son? What's wrong, son? What's wrong, son? Think about it, yeah. The mum will know. The mum will know. They'll all know. They'll all know that someone's grieving today and can't talk to their son. They'll all know. Yeah. And here we go again. I want to know what happens to people. That was me who killed my son, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. The whole of London's going to know that I'm looking for the murderers, bro. Straight like that, bro. Do you know what I mean? You know? But it's sad. Not not trying to take the piss or nothing, bro. But those are my problems this morning. You who killed somebody, bro. Tsh, I would hate to be you right now. I would absolutely hate to be you right now. Do you know something? When the police finally arrest you, bro. The relief that you're going to feel... And then you're going to realise it's not relief. You're just tired from running mentally and physically. Because, bro, you may stay in one place for 10 years. See the mental anguish of what you've done to yourself, mate. So fuck you up, bro. The only place you're going to get rest, yeah, is when you walk into the police station and just give yourself up, mate. Or run around and conceal the fact that you killed people, bro, and watch your whole life just go from good to bad, to bad, to bad, to worse, to worse, to worse, to worse. Ain't nothing good going to happen for you, bruv, while you're on the run for murder, mate. Yeah, you're, you're living fake now, okay, bruv? Yeah, you can find a female in 10 years, 20 years, set up house. The minute the boy them know it was you, they're nicking you, bruv. That's all gone. My advice, stay single. Yeah, don't bring people through your trauma, bro. You're a murderer, bruv. Yeah, no one, you don't have the right to be around nobody, bro. You're a murderer, bro. Shouldn't be laying next to people's kids, bro. You murdered people, brother. You see it? You murdered them. Yeah? You see it, bro. You think that's acceptable, right? So why don't you tell the world then? I did it. I'm the murderer. I'm the killer. Tell them. Fucking horrible cunt, brother. Yeah? Horrible cunt. What'd you kill him for, bro? Yeah? What'd you kill him for? Why didn't you do it the day before? Or the day after? Why didn't you do it when it was normal? Coward shit. Man went to carnival and killed somebody, bro. 
where all the cameras are and the police and the, and, the, and the surveillance and all that. To do what, bro? For people to talk about you for one day. Because this is how bad it is out here, you know, bro. you got girls on the internet telling you they suck good cock. Yeah? Just to get a rep. Just to get a rep, you got girls telling you they suck top. Good. Ah, it's bad, bro. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad, bro. Now you're out there. I'm a murderer. Yeah, you can stand along with that one, mate. Yeah, okay, bro. It's not self-defense. It couldn't have been self-defense, bro. Yeah? If it's not self-defense, bro, yeah? Okay, ain't nobody listening. Yeah, you're gone. Animal behavior gets dealt with like an animal, bro. You're getting 25, 30 wreck, mate. Yeah, okay, bro. You understand? Ain't gonna be no manslaughter charge. Yeah? You went to the carnival with a knife. That means you're looking drama. Yeah? Or you've got drama. Either or either way, bro. They can't have animals like you running through crowds of people like this. We got they can't. Anyway, good luck to you. And uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, sort out my shit life. I'm out. I've, I've, I've made this video many times. Because the channel's dead. Okay, bub, I just lose the enthusiasm to do shit. But it's been riding me. This is the worst carnival. It's the worst because it's, it's the latest one. It's the worst because it shows the state of us here and now. It's the worst because of what people were doing. You know they're saying now that twerking is part of black culture. Yeah, twerking is part of black women's culture. To bend over and shake their ass. Yeah, with a G-string on. It's black culture now. Yeah, okay, bruv, I'm going to show you in a minute. Yeah, the disgust, it's disgusting to watch it. Yeah, and the reason why I think I haven't put it up as well is because I don't know if I will get boomed for it. Not any old carnival bloodshed, stabbings reached their highest level since 2016 as events future is called into question over unsustainable violence after an eight knife attacks, sexual offences and assault on police. Yeah, look at these photographs people, I'm not even going to do a deep one. Sadiq Khan refuses to water down Ulez as he steps up financial. Yeah, 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 they're going to kill us bro. The, the Bank of London, the Bank of England is putting the interest rates up, yeah, so probably he's really going to hit home again now. And look at who used homeowners' front garden as a toilet. And look at one of the Notting Hill revelers who used the homeowners' front garden as a toilet. Right? Look, shitting in the front garden. Look at this. Look at these pictures. Look at these two pictures. Right? I don't even need to do it. Hold on, let me show you something else that's dumb. Let me just show you first for a focus. Two men can be seen urinating against the side of the wall in 35 year old's front garden. Yeah, it's the same it's the same front garden. Look at this, right? Look at them. Right? Look at the clothing, right? Now all they're gonna do, right, to cut it really short and brief, yeah, is look search every CCTV camera in London, mate, yeah, to find the bus cameras, tube cameras, cars on the road, yeah. Look at the man's clothing, look at their clothing, bro. Look out for a grey tracksuit with V. Okay, bro, look at the shoes when he comes out of the car. Check the car's registration number. Look at these guys. They're going to make it even easier. They've got the black uh, Montclair jacket on and all of that, bro. Yeah, it's easy to identify them. But these guys do something so thick, right? You've never seen anything like it. Yeah, okay, right? Look at this. This is violence. in it, it, It's caught on camera. 4K, bro. These guys are running, right? Look what they run into. Look, look what they run into. Hold on. Look, the woman, look, they're just fucking up her yard. Look, not any whole carnival revelers urinate and inhale hippie crack. Yeah, which is probably the gas. Yeah, look, they're running, right? Yeah, what's them running, right? They run right into the police. Look, the police are there, look. Look at that. The police are there, they run into the police. Like, what sense is that? You have just committed a crime and you run right into the police. Well, I'm not even going no further, bruv. Uh, it's dumb. It's, it's thick. This is the thickest shit I've seen, bro, in my life. Look, violence all over the goddamn place, man. Yeah, okay, hold on. Hold on, let's go to the twerking thing. Look, here it is. Look, a hard day's twerking. Look. Moments you've armed with machete run through crowds. Look at this, look. A hard day's twerk. 
A twerk too far. Quit his question whether raunchy displays at Notting Hill Carnival are really sexual empowerment. Saying that black people use it to empower men. Black women. Look, I believe this is what young women think is called sexual empowerment. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Have you seen that? This woman's got the shower cap and a cowboy hat on top. These are the lowest type of women. You don't want these women around you, bro. You don't want them around you, these type of women, bro. Yeah, look at that, bro. That's no shame, brother. Look how they look. They look like they're doing a ritual. Look. The woman's got a G-string out and a... Uh, no, bro. No, bro. No, bro. No. Look at that. It's like... It's like... It's actually like... You know, like the, the wild... You know, like the um, animal kingdom. That's, like, that's what that reminds me of. This two baboons. Just grab her and just do what you want. And then just fuck off. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. No, come on, look at that, bro. Come on, come on. That's your mum, your missus, your sister, bro. The woman's got the shower cap on and the cowboy hat. Couldn't even afford to get her hair done for carnival. Shower cap and a cowboy hat. Look at these women. Look how they look fat and frumpy, big and over horrible, man. Nah, bro. They make us look bad, bro. We look bad, bro. We, we, we you know, we, 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 we finished, bro. Bro, have you seen the one when they were on the railings? Why can I never find it again? Twerking on the railings, bro. Done, bro. We done, bro. We are done, fam. Yeah, as a people, we're done, bro. You, you, you know, you're mixing in, in what, what, what they call content nowadays. Disrespecting each other. Yeah, killing each other, bro. Like, murdering each other on the internet for views, blood. Yeah, and then look at this. Right? And then before you look at this, look at the violence. And it's all black people. Have you seen when they're whining on the policeman? They're whining on the policeman. Rapper Stormzy posts his lavish holiday in Greece on TikTok. Great. Great. Great, mate. Great. I'm out of here, man.